Hello and welcome back, Transformer TCG friends. Uh, we're going in back into the base cards. We're, we, I, let's get this finished up, uh, shall we? Now, we're in my last little file. There's not really a whole lot left here. Uh, have had it a few things. This is file six. Uh, I think we would look over BurgerBot, the Dark Star ship inside of Vortex, KO Drive In. So, you know, thanks to BurgerBot. And KO drive in burger bot is going to give every character tough one for a battle uh, on both sides of the table just a simple base card to give everybody tough one uh, so you're gonna give it to your opponent before you get before you're able to get it if it doesn't get knocked out it is a double orange you have like the KO drive in is double blue and green I uh, guess everybody bold one uh, so you and your opponent so you know maybe your opponent might want to keep that you don't know uh but let, let so with that in mind let's look at space uh i've added some some cards in here so it's like 11 out of 18 um and burger bot is like three out of 18 now and the ko drive-in is like eight out of 18 which i found pretty funny that i, I picked those two the burger bot and the ko drive-in they're both from um well, I almost said CGI, but newer IPs, you know, animated and TF Prime, both are food places, you know. In space here is, well, in space, it's double black and green, not a faction card. Doesn't need to be because it's going to give each character Pierce one. It's a common. It's in the same vein as those two others. So you know, you have a plain double blue and green, a plain double orange and green this is a i guess you could say for base card fair uh plain double black and green okay uh so you know and that and that's another way of being able to buff up some of your attacks your defenses etc uh able to get it on the flip then let's look let's start at the top of the top of the page again with armory armory is i saw this image on facebook and i'm like that is so cool i wish i could give credit to whoever drew this because it's just looks amazing and the background is in is clear and vortex in front isn't um and you can just see a pin up just uh up behind swindle there so the armory is got a lot going on here um it is a hybrid white black with the green pip for battle masters okay I, th I haven't done much with battle masters so this is your a, a card that you can get on the flip with battle masters you don't have to have a battle master on your team that'll help get it in your hand if you don't draw it each character six stars and below has bowled one until end of turn so it's simple it's going to be great for your combiner teams this is not faction related whatsoever even though i got the combaticons on here so great for combiner teams or four wide teams four or five wide teams okay um at the start of a player's turn each player may scrap the top of their deck if it is a weapon they may play it so you get to do it if at the start of your team before you do anything, before you even play a base card at the start of your team, a spark, excuse me, the start of your turn, which, according to my rules with these base cards, seems to work. Okay? So before you play a base card to start your turn, and then you draw a card, if Armory is in play and you played it or your opponent played it, draw, uh, excuse me, scrap the top card of your deck. If it's a weapon, you can play it. Your opponent gets to do the same thing. So this might be something neat, something nice to have. Um, so with with the bold, sp specific to six stars and under, um, and being able to have that kind of specialist field communication, communicator kind of trait going on here, that's why I got it kind of white and black okay maybe it should be white and orange instead of, of a because of the bold here i don't know let me know what you think uh up next let's look at i don't think we've gone over autobot city we have not actually i know we haven't 
Autobot City, if it will pop up, here we go, is a double white. And there is no green because this is a strong card. And Buddy was wanting, when we were working together, and, and he made a card, if I can find it, I can't remember the name of it, it was a double white, and double white just sounds, you don't really need two whites. Well, if you're wanting to try to really work Metroplex, it helps, okay? So this uh, Autobot City is really gonna help with working Metroplex. Um, you want, three Autobot cities to be part of your nine white white pip cards go for it the only problem is is I didn't give it the green because of the strength of the card while it also is a rare card so if you're playing in 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 a casual game but maybe heavily constructed maybe you're restricting yourself somewhat to where you can only have so many rare cards okay well then this would have to be one of them Okay, uh, white with the Autobot, so it's an Autobot faction card, white with the Titan trait. So only Metroplex or any other Autobot Titans, if we have any, will get the double white. But this is really to open that up for Metroplex. Uh, so let's look at why I took the green pip off of a base card, which I think this might be the only time I've done at the start of turn, each player may flip a character to another mode. Okay? Um, so this isn't just going to give you the advantage. They're going to be able to get the same thing. This is going to be on both, both players on both sides of the table. So while you may be able to get another flip out of Metroplex to be able to get another character deployed, as a result, your 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 opponent is going to be able to get a flip also, but they're going to need to be able to get a flip that doesn't help with battle. Because normally, when you flip for turn, it's helping give characters pierce or something to that effect, or safeguard maybe. Uh, I've know I've got some crazy characters that do something like that, um, but you know maybe they flip a flip a character to a certain to a certain side to be able to draw a card. Or to, you know, ooh, I'm, I'm on the defensive. Let me flip my my character in, to have tough one, okay? Or, ooh, I can flip my flame war again, you know? So this is, while it seems strong, it's actually a pretty fair base card. And because of the strength of the, of the flip, I took the green pip off. So what do you think about that? Let's look at one or two more, and then I'm going to have to call it quits. I got, um, today is Wednesday um, before Thanksgiving, and I, I, I got to go into work. Oh, crap. I, this may be it. Let's last look at Dragon Mound here. Uh, you can just see Ramjet coming out of the, of, the, of the cave, the little opening there. And if that's ramjet those columns have got to be huge anyway um orange and green each character has tough one for battle so we, we we've seen some of that so it's you know going to be russian roulette trying to keep the card in play you know you use that secret action um card that that i've made if you want to oh goodness i forgot the name of it um something the base uh with, with, with the image from transformers prime um, you know, to be able to make sure your base card doesn't get uh, scrapped, you know. Okay. okay. Um, so each character has tough one for battle. If this is the third dragon mound, you may play another base card. You may play another dragon mound. So I think I have this right to where being able to play it again is going gonna, is gonna to be on the very bottom here. Um, so basically you're going to be able to give everybody tough three, but if you do play three, you may play another base card, but that's going to knock all three of them out. Why would you do that? I don't know, but you would have to have enough base cards in your hand to be able to do that. So this is not opening up two base cards at the same time. No, it's not doing that. Um, but it's a very... You know, maybe you played it on your last turn, or maybe your opponent played one last turn, and you actually have some in your deck, and you're like, ooh, can you play your Dragon Mound on their Dragon Mound? 
Yes. Just make sure when they're scrapped, they get their card back, you get yours back. Okay? Things to think about. These can stack on top of each other. This one can. Uh, the Cybertron Tunnels can. Uh, I think Tor Virtual Jungle and Torx Maze might do, do some of that. Because uh, uh, especially when it comes to like going through something, um, I, I try to give that ability here, which is kind of neat to be able to get something uh, nice on the payback. So, you know, and you don't have to. I put you may play another base card. So you're not just able to just play a base card or two or three dragon mounds. You can play all three and then just knock them all out and scrap them and play another one if you want to and really try to empty your hand. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe there's something there if you need like less cards in your hand than your opponent. You know, I don't know. There's I'm sure there's some advantages to that in s somewhere, someplace, somehow. Maybe not. Maybe this is stupid. But you don't have to do that. You can still give all your characters tough three. You're going to give your opponents tough three first. You know, so maybe this is not a good thing. But you don't have to play another base card after you play three Dragon Mounds uh, to, like, quote-unquote, go to another place. Kind of get it. So it is a common, even though it has something interesting going for it that may or may not be pertinent um but i just wanted to use the effect of the dragon mound kind of like it did in the show does it make sense here for the game eh. i don't know or you can use it to um uh, psych out your opponent like you're playing all three and they're in your opponent's eyes are getting bigger oh wow well, i'm about to get tough three and then you actually play another base card and, and scrap all three dragon mounds and they'll be like oh crap you know it might be kind of a good um uh i want to say po poker style you know really faking them out so maybe th th maybe there is some cool kind of technique or strategy with this to really fake your opponent out of of what you're trying to do here um to where it's like haha tough three nope psych not really you know just to be able to have guess what three more orange pip cards in your deck okay so there there's i think there's some play and give here um that that makes this pretty interesting on that note i've gone over i better call it quits we'll see you next time let me know what you think guys i know y'all are liking some of this stuff uh, i know y'all are, are, are checking this out other than just the the stop motion at the beginning which i may have to just reuse something old for, for this one uh it's thanksgiving week and it's, it's just been a full week and then trying to get my father-in-law into um empty his house out has been a chore and it's been ru really rough on my wife because she's doing more of it than i have in um so there's that i've been having to do a lot of stuff at the house house at our house so we'll see you next time throw scraplets at the like button if you haven't already subscribe if you haven't already as well and as always autobots flip out and let's roll for it